Hello Stamper, welcome to French's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up at frenchystamps.com in the US. Today I'm sharing something that it's kind of new in the catalog, but it's not a new technique. But they listed in the catalog, so I thought it, mm, I'm gonna share that. So if you look on page 33, at the description of the stamp set here, it say it's nine cling stamp, and it's a hinge step. Also on page forty-seven, it's another one. See right here, it's a inch step. Now on page fifty-five, that's where it tell you about what that is. See, they call it a blog party. Boom, 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 and voila. So that is an inch step also. And then you got on page 102, that is another one right here. You get on page 137, and that is the one that I get, well, I get two out, but really it's the one on page 37, uh, 137, sorry. And it is uh, this lovely palette top here and again it say it is an inch step so let me share with you so you can see um, that was done with that stamp set this also all these fold here I'm gonna have another video on that shortly after you watch this one and here so you can do like your wood background we absolutely love well I absolutely love my wood background so what I like to do, um, I put my silicone mat under just to get that extra cushion. Now I'm using um, those grid paper, the one, the size for the stamparatus. Going to put that right at the corner. It's very important to put that in the corner. I am not using the corner of the stamparatus like normally I do. The main reason for that, it's because we won't stem the whole sheet. So I'm using a repush, repushable, cannot say the word, removable double-sided tape that you can remove. I'm going to just put that right there. And the reason why I am not using my magnet, it's because I want the whole thing. I don't want to move my magnet, move my paper, so this is more secure. Now from my grid paper, I'm going to go about one inch in and um, from the top two down, okay? So it's half inch down, one inch from the side, and I'm going to put my paper right there, make sure that it's completely straight. And now I see right now it's not straight. Here we go. So now that I got that there, I'm going to take that wood grain uh, paper, um, stamps here and I'm going to put it that it go off a bit because you know you get that border there, it's nothing. So you have to, to take that in consideration. I'm just going to put that at like the three quarter inch and the half inch at the top. Going to put that straight there. I'm going to close this. I like to put a stamp case under here so that keep my uh, plate down straight. We're going to open that and we're going to do it all in early espresso. I won't switch color just to show you. So I'm going to tap and this one when I mean by two it's because it's bigger right so we're going to go down by two. So I'm going to stamp uh, if it's not stamped all equally, I can go back with ink, right? So now I'm going to count two. I'm going to lift this up. So it's one, two. Well, you go in the third one. Use two empty. Put it back down. You're going to ink again and stamp again. Lift again. You go down two. You always, the big one or two. So now you see why they call that the inch, because you move at the inch here, and voila, how cool is that? You get your wood um, grain, and it's all equally. Now let's crank up a notch here a bit, 
and let me share with you let's say that you want to have like an opening but without putting another piece and i'm all using um uh, let me think here very vanilla is just to show you the the thing so again i'm going to put that at half here half inch one inch on the side okay now this time i got repositionable um label here i'm gonna put that i'm gonna say i'm gonna put this one right here so you can put any way you want i'm gonna put that right there and again i can go ahead we're gonna do this quick stamp you're gonna lift it up too so you see you can go from up or down it don't matter go down over here here you have to press more when you get on the side so you see i went right back down i can go there if it didn't have enough boom lift at the top and you got it now watch when i remove my mask it, that we call that a mask okay let's remove this now let's take this if voila how cool is that so you get a perfect um, center there many are going to ask me what are that paper you can use post-it note what i like about these uh, they're eight and a half by eleven and i can use them over and over this is going to last me a long time i just love i will have the direct link on my blog i get them on amazon so you can have the direct link there so now you get this and some of them i sponge you can um i'm gonna sponge the other one that one i'm gonna use it for another card you can sponge have different color or you can uh, you know have different tone in your wood or you can use gray granite for the back you can it doesn't matter the sky it's the limit because here i got um smoky slate stamped with um basic gray and i sponge some of the coastal cabana to make it look kind of beachy see vanilla in the back this one here it's on um it's soft suede on very vanilla this one it's on crumb cake so you see you can use any one now let's remove this let me bring another plate so we can switch this quick here and let me share with a smaller one so i still have my paper my uh, sticky there and again i just gonna put that right here half so now you understand if i would um, move my magnet it's a good chance i'm going to move my paper and then they would overlap so this one the whiskey business it's another one and um this one it's the one inch i call okay so i'm going to put that right at the side over here hey okay, voila that looks straight i think and i'm gonna go ahead Oh, this one you know what i want to border on the other side so let me move this this way right like this okay now we're going to do ink 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 tap now let's lift this up one so move it just one this one tap Lift it one, tap, lift it one, down, and tap. So now you see and you get the distance in between. You can go ahead, leave it right there, and we, oh, we're going to go down one inch so i'm at half uh i'm sorry half inch so i'm gonna go down at one half inch leave it there we're gonna ink okay now i don't have to do the first one because it's well i still because they're gonna overlap a bit now i'm gonna go down one 
tap 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 I could have leave it with the gap like this or come in between up down down up down and up so you see you can leave it with your gap or you can come back and do it this way and you get that fun border there and you get uh, different um, stamps you get some with like swirly flowers so on and some of them don't say inch and it's still going to work but the one that say inch they are really designed for this now if you uh, like this one here was part of this <coughs> excuse me this one and I just went one t -t 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 stamp that was one in between and you see I get the gap in between so I can put different grading in that so the sky is the limit when it comes to that but that's what that stand for in the catalog the inch that's what it stands for you just keep on moving down I will uh, list all the stamp set that it's in the catalog that are specially designed for this but don't forget that many of them we can make it work too sometimes we just have to work a little bit I will have more detail on my blog you get the direct link right below so thank you so much for watching I hope this is going to help if you like those tip video just click on the subscribe right below there and give me the thumbs up Thank you and have a lovely day. Bye-bye for now.